Hi guys, this is Transport 3 channel here. Um, as you can see, today today we are finishing up Ginny B. Jones and the Little Monkey Business. The reason we're finishing it today is because uh, tomorrow I'm going to K&G to get my graduation clothes. As you can see, I am graduating from 5th grade. But anyways, today, <laughs> today we are finishing up our book for today. Chapter 8. Me and Principal. The school is the the school office is a scary place. A scary place. It has loud ringing phones and and a tapping lady who is a stranger, and rows of chairs where bad kids sit. Mrs. plopped me in a blue one. Wait here, she said. <coughs> yeah, only I'm not bad. I whispered to just myself. <laughs> then I put my sweater on. Then I put my sweater on my head so nobody would see me in the bad kid's chair. After after that, I peeked down my long sweater sleeve and, mi and saw Mrs. out of my hand hole. She, wa she was knocking on the principal's door. Then she went in there, and my heart felt very pumpy because she was tattletaling on me, I think. After all, she came out again. Principal... Principal came with her. Principal has a baldy head, with which looks like rubber. Also, he has big hands and heavy shoes, and a suit made out of black. Could could I could I see you in my office for a minute, Judy B? He said. Until then, I had to go in there all by myself. And I, and I sat in a big wood chair, and Principal made me take my take the sweater off my head. So this, so what's this all about? He said. Why do you think your teacher brought you down here today? Because I said very quiet. Because why? Said principal. Because that Grace shot off her big fat mouth. I explained. The principal folded his arms and he said for me to start at the beginning. And so I did. First, I told him about how I spent the night at my grandpa's house. We had delicious waffles for breakfast, I said, and I have five of them. Only my grandma didn't know where I put them all, except I put, I put, I put them way in here. And then I opened my mouth and, and showed Principal where my waffles went. After that, I told him my grandma, my grandma Miller came home from the hospital, and she told me I had a monkey brother, for really and honest and truly. And so then I told the children to show and tell. I sat at recess. Lucy and and that Grace started giving me lots of pretty stuff because they wanted to be first to see him. Except too bad for me, I said, because when we came inside, Mrs. found out about about the snack tickets, and and then the dumb Grace shot off the big fat mouth and shoes. And I got marched down here, and I had to sit in the bad kid's chair. Then I smoothed my skirt. The end, I said nicely. Principal rub rumbled his head that looks like rubber. Junie B, maybe we should go back to when, to when your grandmother came home from the hospital, she said. Can you remember exactly what she said about your big, big brother being a monkey? I scratched my eyes real tight to remember. Yes, I said. Grandma Miller said he was the cutest little monkey she ever saw. The principal closed his eyes. Ah, I said kind of quiet. Now I, now I get it. After that, he smiled a little bit. You see, Junie B, when your grandmother calls you, but when you call your brother a little monkey, she she didn't mean he was a real little monkey. She just meant he was well cute. I know he's cute, I said. That's because all monkeys are cute, except for I don't like the big kind that can kill you. Principal shook his head. No, Judy B, that's not what I mean. I mean, your brother isn't really a monkey at all. He's just a little baby boy. I made a frowny face. No, he is not a little baby boy. I told him. He is a real alive baby monkey with black hairy fur and long fingers and toes. You can ask my grandma Miller if you don't believe me. And so guess what Principal did then? He called her that, that's what. He called Grandma Miller right up on the phone. And then he talked to her 
and then I talked to her too. Hey, Grandma, I said very shouty. I, sh I said very sh shouty. Guess what happened? Well, guess what happened down here? Principal said that my that my baby brother isn't a real alive mon monkey. Only he is because you told me. Remember you said he was a monkey for really and honest and truly? Then Grandma Miller said she was very sorry, but she didn't mean he was a real monkey. She just meant she just meant he was cute. Just like Principal explained to me. Explained to me. And so then I felt very droopy inside. Yeah, only what about all of my black hair and his long fingers and toes, I said. And what about his bed that looks like a cage and the wallpapers with his jungle friends on it? But Grandma Miller kept on saying that my new brother was just a regular, a regular cute baby. And so finally I didn't want to talk to her anymore. And so I hanged up the phone, then I bit my head way down, and my eyes got a little bit of wet in them. Darn it, I said very quiet. After that, Principal gave me a tissue, and he said, I'm sorry to me. Then, and then he held my hands, and me and him walked back to, the, to room 9. I'll be right back, I gotta take a drink. Chapter 9 Pigs and Ducks and Stuff Principal went into room 9 with me. Then he clapped his giant hands together. Boys and girls, may I please have your attention, he said. I would like to explain what happened during show and tell today. It's about Jimmy Jones and her new baby brother. Just then, that Jim I hate jumped right, uh, right up out of his chair. He's not a monkey, is he? He shouted very loud. I knew it. I knew he wasn't a monkey. I made a big fist at him. How would you like that? How would you like this up your nose, you big dumb Jim? I hollered. The principal frowned at me, and so I smiled. I hate that guy, I said nicely. After that, principal took a big breath. Boys and girls, that's a good reason why Junie B told you that her baby brother was a monkey, he said. Yeah. It's all, it was all my Grandma Miller's fault. I interrupted because she told me that, that my little, my brother was a little monkey. Only she didn't mean he was a real little monkey. She just meant he was cute. Only who, who the heck knew that dumb thing? Principal made another frown at me. Then he talked some more. Yes, you see, boys and girls, he said, sometimes adults say things that can be very confusing to children. Like, what if you heard me talking about a lucky duck? You might think I was talking about a real live duck. A lucky duck just, lucky duck just means a lucky person. Right, said Mrs. And when we call somebody a bee, someone a busy bee, we don't mean he's a real bee. We just mean he's hard. He's a hard worker. Hey, I just thought of another one. I said very excited, very, very excited. A dumb bunny isn't a real alive bunny either. It's just a plain old, a plain old dumb guy. Then my friend Lucy raised her hand. I've got one too, she said. Sometimes my nana calls my daddy a couch potato, only he's not a real potato. He's just a lazy, a lazy bum. Yeah, and, and I'm not a big pig, said, said my new boyfriend, Ricardo. But my mom says I, I eat like one. After that, a whole bunch of other kids said that they like big pigs too. Oh, a boy named Donald said he eats like a horse, and Crybaby William eats like a bird. Just then, it was time for the bell to ring, and so me and the principal said bye bye to each other. And I went to my and I went to my seat. Then I gave Lucy back her red chair. She was she was very nice to me. I'm sorry that your brother isn't a real monkey, Junie She said, "Thank you, Lucy." I said, "I'm sorry that your daddy." Daddy isn't a real potato too. After that, the bell rang for us to rang for us to go home. And so me and Lucy, and that Grace held hands, and we walked outside together. Only a very wonderful thing ha happened, and it's called I heard my mother's voice. 
Jennifer, 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 over here, honey. Daddy and I are over here. Then I looked in the parking lot and I saw her. And so I run to her speedily quick. And then me and my mother hugged and hugged because I hadn't seen her for a very whole day. Then my daddy got out of the car and he and he had a little yellow blanket on his arms. And guess what was in that thing? My new baby brother. That's what. Look at this picture right here. It was it was very teeny and pink and pinkish, except he he heard he hurt, he had he had heard a lot of black hair on it. I touched it. It felt like fuzzy. Just then Ricardo walked by and he saw my teeny brother. Cool hair, he said. I smiled very big. I knew it, Ricardo, I said, and guess what else? He doesn't even smell like pee pew. After that I got in the car and I got in the car and I told mother about Lucy's Lucket. And she said, maybe I could get a locket too, and I could, and I could put my brother's, my brother's teeny head in there. Yeah, and I would also like some pink high tops, please. I said very polite. Maybe I said, oh boy, I said, cause maybe doesn't mean, doesn't mean no. That's why. And so then I lifted up the blanket and I, and I peeped at, at my baby brother one more time. So, what do you think of him, Junie B? She said. I smelled very big. I think he's the cutest little monkey I've ever saw, I said. Then Mother laughed, and I laughed too. It's pooey on babies until Junie B. Jones finds out that her new baby brother is a big fat deal. Her two bestest friends are giving her everything they own, just just to see him and guess what else maybe she can bring him to school on pet day Woohoo! we finished judy b jones and the little monkey business join us this saturday as we will start a new book called frindle we have already read it in school we're gonna read it on we're gonna read it this saturday again i love that book i have heard it i heard it in school and uh it's it's a funny book. Y'all might think it's funny too, but wait till I read it, and then and then you will see it's funny. But but we we will start that book this Saturday, um, and uh, and uh, I hope to have my graduation clothes at K and G. We're going. I'm gonna go buy my graduation clothes at K and G. So um, that's why I have to finish our book today. And uh. Today's question question of the day is, what does CT stand for? So, what I mean by that is CT scan. What does CT stand for? Comment comment me down below in the in the comment section. Just remember, I don't want any cuss words on the on the comments. So please do not cuss in the comments, cause because um it's not good to do and. And then, and and then the police might find out about it. So please do not cuss in the comments. So just comment what CT stands for. And then Saturday we'll have another question, but this time it will be MRI. But today we're just doing CT. So tell me what CT scan stands for. See, we know that we forget about the scan. All we're going to talk about is CT. So what does CT stand for? Comment us down below. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!